What's up everyone, it's Deltron Live. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to place custom doodads, uh, static doodads in your map. So the ones I'm going to place are the ones shown here. Uh, these are created by Naradak, aka Patrick. Uh, you can find these on SC2 Mapster. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link uh, down below the video if you guys wanna follow along. Uh, notice that it, the dependence, it's uh, the swarm mod. So we'll just uh, just keep note of that. And then I went ahead and download, downloaded the zip file, extracted it, and just placed the files on the desktop. So what it contains, you have a .m3 file, which is the, the actual model. And then you have these textures. And these are .dds files. And these are the textures placed underneath the, uh, the tower. So then just go ahead, create a new map, or just use your existing map, uh, whatnot. And then if you haven't already, just go to dependencies. If you haven't done this when creating the new map and just make sure it's dependent on the swarm mod. Okay. So the first things first, we, we need to import um, the mod and texture files into our map. So go to import data, import files, and then you can see uh, here's your ice shield tower model and your textures. So just go ahead and click those. Press OK. You can see a preview here. Go ahead and save it. Uh, since I haven't saved the map yet, uh, we're just going to call this, uh, uh, let's call it static uh, custom doodad. Save, close the import window, and now we can actually continue. So what you need to do, you need to go to the data module and actually create uh, the doodad. So you need to open the models tab. So to do that, click the plus tab sign, edit art and sound data, models. And then once that loads up, just right click in the catalog window, add model. And we're just gonna give this a simple name. You just wanna, you can name it whatever you want, but something that's easy to remember. We're just gonna name this ice model. Model type needs to be generic. Parent, change it to doodad. Uh, race, neutral. And then just press okay. Now you have your ice model. So now we need to tell it where to find the, uh, art, the ice model that we imported. So you need to go to basic art model, double click the field value, and then you're just going to browse um, for the ice shielded tower. And then just press okay. And OK. And that should update it there. OK, so the next thing we need to do, let's first save this. You need to go to the Actors tab. So I, and then uh, you need to go to the Actors tab, right click, Add Actor. And we need to create an, an actor for the ice model. So just give it the same name ice model actor type change this to doodad just leave parent as is uh, doodad type environment and then just press ok ok now if you go let's save this if you go back to models you can see the ice model is affiliated with the actor ice model. Okay, so now just go back to your terrain, doodads, and in here uh, you can, you know, you can go to environment, uh, but if you know the name, just put ice model, click it, and there you go. 
you've now placed your ice model. Uh, you can double click it. Sorry for the noise. You know, you can rotate it. And here, let's rotate it to 90 degrees. And there you go. Uh, so that's in a simple way how to add a custom model to your map. Uh, one thing I haven't figured out is the uh, the textures, how to get those to show. I'll keep looking. Uh, so you see it should look like this. The like kind of the like tiles underneath. But that's not present here. Uh, we have them Im imported the textures but I, I don't know how to do that so if, if you guys know just put a comment down below and once i figure it out i'll update this video with the correct way but i just wanted to show you guys quickly how to import custom models uh, you can do similar things uh, with the units but instead of a doodad you'll create a unit you put custom units into your maps and yeah that's it i hope this has been helpful and until next time uh, have a great day. All right. Bye now.